and she's about to be sold off so we need to go save her and whatnot so i'm busy what's up everybody my name is lehua and welcome to the superfina channel i am a hawaii variety content creator host the podcast across worlds and i stream on twitch.tv slash lehua superfina today we are reviewing harvestella the pc version and shout out to square enix for providing a code for harvestella thank you now we've actually been playing harvestella on the steam deck it is a RPG simulation developed and published by Square Enix. In a vibrant and colorful world, players will tend their crops, befriend the townsfolk, overcome threats, discover the origins of the world, and the truth behind the calamity along the way. The story begins when the player wakes up in the middle of quietus, a calamity that comes with each change of seasons and threatens all life. The quietus is a season of death that comes at the turn of each season. Crops wither and the dust of death prevents people from even walking outside. It is said that the duration of quietus is getting longer each year. In this world, players will be able to explore the various cities and dungeons of the world. Nimea Town, where cherry blossoms bloom all year round. Seaside Town, Chatola or Chatoya, with a lively bar scene. Leith village with its beautiful colors of the four seasons and the snow-covered holy capital Arjean. In order for players to reach the sea's light, the four giant crystals that govern the seasons, they must cross a beautiful yet rugged path. For the daily life, vegetables, grains, and fruits can be grown on the fields and shipped for money or are used as crafting materials. They can also be used for cooking, where recipes can have the effect of recovering HP or temporarily increasing stats, which will be useful while on adventures. At home, players take care of their animals, the round bird clawfowl and the dignified goat Wulim, and their pet Toto Kaku, which may lead to nice rewards. Allies players will encounter new friends such as Sharika, a missionary in search of a new faith, Hain, a flirtatious and handsome mechanic, Azo, a descendant of the Wind Readers, and Arya, a mysterious girl who says she has come from the future. By facing their problems and their different ways of life, you will gain a better understanding of your allies. Combat during battle, switch instantly between a wide variety of jobs like the fighter, who unleashes quick sword techniques, the shadow walker, who deals lethal blows with twin swords, or the mage, who specializes in magic attacks to be victorious. Take on strong enemies by targeting their weak points and then eliminate them with a powerful double break attack. Now from my experience playing the game so far, with the daily life, I have like a small plot of land and the seeds that I've been getting, I either acquire them through finding chests or I buy them from the stores and I just plant them as I go. I like how I have to plow the land, you know, till it, prep it so I can sow the seeds and we have to water them every day. And I like how the vegetables grains fruits and whatnot they grow in different times like different days like some will grow in a day others two days three days four days five days etc i like that because i can rotate them around and the part where it says that we can ship them for money i love this part where we don't have to visit the merchants and sell them we can just throw them in a chest a shipping box and overnight to get shipped and we get our money Ooh, makes it so easy the part where we take care of animals right now i just have the clofowl and it's not old enough to lay eggs yet and i need those eggs so i can make dishes and my clofowl is not old enough yet and for it to mature i need to feed it every day and <laughs> To get the food, I either need to buy the food or I need to buy the seeds to grow that ingredient and then 
process that ingredient to make it into kofal feed. So there's a lot of stuff to do just for daily life. For the world part, we start in Leith Village. And after that, we have three choices to venture off to. We can either go to Nemea Town, uh, Chatoya, or Arjeen. I decided to go to Shatoya because I encountered this guy that totally looks like Hal from Hal Moving's Castle. And I really want to know why he looks like that. I haven't encountered him again because as soon as I get to this town, there's like an event going on where there's this girl who seems like she's a mythical creature and she's about to be sold off. So we need to go save her and whatnot. So I'm busy. And speaking of mythical creatures, I did not know there were going to be fairies and whatnot. I was caught surprised by that. And not only did we encounter fantasy, that ally Arya, who is a mysterious girl and says she's from the future. I didn't know there was going to be some sci-fi stuff in here too. So we got a variety of things to keep us interested. In the combat, right now I have fighter and mage. I'm starting to use the mage a lot because there are a lot of enemies who are weak to elements and right now I have lightning and ice and those are really helpful especially when I need to do range attacks because the enemies can hit me with a what's that thing a debuff and I don't like to be hit by poison I get really annoyed with that I don't like to be poisoned but besides that but be we can you know help ourselves with food, drinks, things that helps with our debuffs, gives us buffs, helps with our HP and whatnot. And we can make them too if we're able to produce the ingredients and whatnot. Now everything that we just talked about, there is a 12, is it 12 hours? 12 hours we can do this. We wake up at 6 a.m. and we have until midnight to do all these things, the daily lives, the world exploration, the combat, the leveling up, developing our skills and whatnot. We have 12 hours to do this and some things you know, take up time. For example, while we're exploring, there are places where it needs to be fixed, like a bridge. Those usually take about like an hour. So one hour passed by already. And our crafting, crafting materials, crafting things that will help us with our exploration, the cooking and such, those take an hour or minutes. So time already passed by for that. So there's a lot of stuff to do in a day. And um, if you are out exploring and you're fighting in combat, if you're fighting too late at night you get sleepy you will fall asleep mid combat and you will be defeated and what's gonna happen the next day happens you're woken up by the doctor and she says oh you were brought to the front of the door for some reason blah 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 oh here's your medical fee and you wake up at 12 p.m you lost six hours already <laughs> Yes, there are consequences. And that's my experience of Harvest Stella on the PC. Hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, give it a like. And if you have any feedback, put them in the comments below. And if you've already played in the game, let us know what platform and how your experience was. If you want to hang out outside of YouTube, I do stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. I've been streaming Harvest Stella. Coincidentally, yeah. <laughs> Come on by if you want to hang out. I stream every Saturday. And if you like anime or manga, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about that stuff and other things we're interested in. If you like that, we are available on all platforms. Link to the podcast is in the description below. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is the Superfina channel talking about Harvestel on the PC. Hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!